about this too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gather here today for yet another one of these. I just live here. Yeah. I didn't gather anywhere. I yeah. want that to be known. Yeah. You know the setup. I don't need to repeat it every time. And we're going left, right. We did. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Ah, in the ear. <laughs> in the ear. Oh. It smelled good. Oh, thank you. You're Question welcome. Mark? All right. It's the biggest compliment a man can give another man. <laughs> Theme is bourbons. I did it. Two points for Cody. Good job. Dink, dink. Um, smells pretty good. I don't, I can't, mm, nothing stuck out to me as like distinct note wise, but it does smell good. It smells kind of rich. Just like kind of caramel, confectioner sugar, brown sugar, kind of standard. A little husky. Adrian. Like corn husk. I'll have you know, <laughs> this bourbon is watching its weight, and despite you trying to skirt around the issue yeah. of calling it fat, it still takes heart. It's body shaming. There's no other word for it. What about that? That was. I feel like that was more of a like '90s term. Boomer. It's like I don't know why, but this is reminding me of like an uncooked pasta noodle in terms of the aroma, which is not a strong scent. I don't get that, although. Uh, yeah, it's not a strong enough aroma for me to think of it anyways. So yeah, this really isn't, uh, isn't very strong. Yeah, not a whole lot of like distinct notes, just kind of generic bourbon. Yeah, like, I feel like this might yep. be like the opposite of like the last thing where like it doesn't doesn't smell specifically like much, but I bet it'll taste pretty good, but we'll see. Well, let's see right now. Ooh, she's hot. Whew. Mixed opinion on that one. Overall, enjoyed it, and I think I was right on that. Um, better than and the one flat other five we had. It's, 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 it's because it's, it's definitely a higher proof, you know, that just instantly helps things. But I did like it, I thought it was pretty rich. But again, like the nose, I don't think there's any distinct flavors like outside of the typical bourbon flavors. Yeah, but it was good, although my only downfall, besides it not being like unique, was that it, it is pretty hot. Yeah, corn syrup. Um, geez, that heat comes in. Um, you know, and it's probably probably because it's hot. I'm getting a little. It's like a hot tamale, just you know, a note. But it's not that full of cinnamon either, though. Mm. Woo. Um, yeah, it's just like your typical bourbon with heat. <laughs> yeah, it's like I can't really describe it. I can't. I don't think I taste any fruits or anything too dark. I was gonna say for a second. Like waffle cone, but it's it's mm -hmm. not quite sweet enough to earn that. Mm. Yeah, it's not very. It's like got enough sweetness to balance it out, but it's not. It's not above like fifty percent. I do get like, like a like if you took the fruit flavor out of a fruit snack, it's like so. It's like basically corn syrup again. It's gelatin. But, yeah. Yep. It's like just it just stops like short of having that flavor. Mm. By the way, this it, the first one is like. Several shades lighter than the other two. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I, that didn't escape my mm. so that's like notice this, as well. That's like the third one's darkest. Even these are pretty dark cool. overall. Um, enjoyable. Doesn't stand out, but too hot. But you know, like, wouldn't be mad at a glass of it. It's good. All right. <clears throat> two. Mm, number two. <sighs> Does that little bit of that root smell again? Oh yeah, a little Just bit, slightly, man. yeah. Kind of a root beer, molasses, like sarsaparilla. Mm. Um, I do get a little like <clears throat> cane sugar towards the very back end. Um, so it's like the licorice starts turning sweeter. I really think molasses is the most, um, the closest I can get to describing how this smells. I'm just gonna keep saying all of these same things over and over again until I actually eat these things. <laughs> Figs, dates, root vegetables. Let's sip it. Ugh. Also hot. This one's much more interesting than the first one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if like Woo! it's to my palate as much, but it is more interesting. And they're both hot. 
That opens up the sinuses. It does have that sweet vegetal taste a little bit, and then caramel and... Cola, dark chocolate. I think there's a little honey in there. It smells a little different now. God, these are freaking... Holy guacamole! Oh, wow! <laughs> Some fresh made wheat bread, like really moist wheat mm. bread. Mm. Um, and the heat is making you think of like, you know, jalapeno. <laughs> it's like probably not actually there as a flavor, but yeah. Mm. It's like this one's way more interesting than that one, but I don't know if the flavors are necessarily to my particular liking. If you're able, I know this is hot, but if you're able to keep it on your tongue for a while and just let it kind of sit in your mouth, like there's a sweetness in the oh. first yeah. Like third or so. That's yeah. actually pretty strong and like rich and almost makes me think of like some kind of like cakiness. Not baking spices, but like yeah. a buttery cake of some kind, maybe a chocolate. Well, he's like a hundred and seventy five proof. <laughs> They're probably like ninety five. <laughs> I'm thinking over hundred and twenty, but Yeah. How you doing, Rick? Hey, I'm doing a okay. What are your thoughts on this? I don't think you've said anything about the second one. Or the first one. <laughs> what? Rewind the footage. I definitely said stuff. <laughs> re 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 rewind. Do that. Yeah. Re so that, and then you show Rick where he's about to say it. He's like, uh, and then nothing and then one happens. Of us, one of us <laughs> starts talking and stuff. And then they're like, and then we're like, oh yeah, we just rewound it, Ricky. And you're right. What do you think on the flavor? <laughs> <laughs> God, it's so hot. I can hear like his inner workings. <laughs> On the inside. <laughs> like, God, yeah, Coca Cola. Maybe a root beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's. Maybe there's honey a, on the front. Sweetness on the front. I think I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with the dark chocolate. Molasses, honey, root beer, and jalapenos. Um, uh, I, I want to throw in. Oh. Um, definitely, I'm getting very much tree bark. The more I taste this middle one too. What kind? What variety of tree? What species of tree? That's a that's a tough one, Codes. It's a tough chance. one. Um, I mean, I'm gonna Definitely go with oak is safe. All right. Well, well, well. I'm gonna home. I had to burn up my tongue. You did it, Cody. And I and to reward to there. reward your faith, I didn't let you see. Well, it goes both ways. That's you how know? it works. Huh? You know, pay it forward. You know. Jesus, that one's like aromatic, like but like perfumey and like it's like musty. It's like, like floral but really sweet. Oh, huh. mm, I think there's so much fume in here. <laughs> Ooh, I think we've established these are all real high proof. Or mm. I'm Jesus. definitely getting dark fruit in this one. Oh my God! Take Maybe. a big, big wolf. That's almost. I'll take it's like, big, exactly it's like. like well, not well, like, uh, I took a big wolf. I was going to say brown bananas. It, it, well, you know what I was going to say on that? Prune. You know what I was going to say on that? I think I think I said in that one, it smelled like fermented fruits. Yeah. And it kind of has that. It's like a little yeah. like off or like over ripened fruits. You know, like they're starting to. They're already, they're already they're old. And they're, old and or like a real brown banana. You know, they start to get a little Fruit over flies sweet. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, this is fruit. You're getting to the fruit fly stage. <laughs> Let's leave it up uh, overnight and see what you happens. Know, like, <laughs> see if I can't get some more of my buddies They finally all died, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> they start You're just going to come back one day and they're like, my whole face is going to cover the flies. I'm like, what? <laughs> the spiders starved to death. So oh, Adrian, gone. what a surprise. Come in. <laughs> all right. I don't know what fruits, though. I guess darker ones. <laughs> it's really a quantity of fruits for me. It's like a fruit basket that's fermenting, you know? Yeah, like Corn nothing. Coffee. Mostly darker boys. And there's a little bit of a Raisins foresty, and... like like the, like a, a, autumnal trees. All the leaves are changing. There's a little bit of that, like whatever that smell is, like petrichor somewhere in there. All right. All right. Down the hatch. Oh, there's a spire. It's still alive. Cody. Get it. No, I'm not getting Please. it. Please. Eat it. Give me food. Mm. No fruit flies. Well, I'll leave it up to you to get it, Cody. Yeah, I okay. can't quite put my finger on the taste. I thought I was going to like it more based on the smell, but it's almost got a little vegetal, sweet vegetaliness, that note to me on the taste. It's still got the thing we were talking oh. about, but... Huh. 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 
That was way hotter than the other two, in my opinion. I figured out the theme. Don't hide heat well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hide ethanol well. I'm sorry. I'm sticking with it. I feel almost some like these... kind of a raisin or some, something like yeah. that. Yeah, sure. That effect. You can see raisin. I feel like a prune. Like a, like a, like a, you know, like it's fermented. Like, you know, it's like starting to get kind of bubble up or something. And I feel like these have gotten like almost progressively more interesting or complex, but I feel like the farther along we've gone, the further away from my palate they've gone. So it's like, ha. Ah. This actually has a lot. This is pretty like deep. That's what I'm and, saying. I think they've progressively like, gotten more complex. Like, yeah, the prune. But... I'm, I'm now getting the prune for sure. Mm -hmm. Raisin. I almost think a little bit of like pluot, if you've ever had that. Oh, um, well, here he goes like, again. Are you... It's just a plum apricot. Oh, okay. Um, and it, which gives it that like that darker plum flavor, but it has like just a little bit of orange mixed in. What you think this? You said this one. You think is the hottest, Rick? I think so. Yeah. I think it's more like a. <laughs> uh huh. It's like a. <laughs> uh huh. Bass dairy. It's like a banana and a strawberry. <laughs> oh. <Come on. laughs> I can make things up too. Mm. It's a little drying. Oh my god! Like I'm no stranger to hot bourbons, but Jiminy Christmas—they do not hide it well. The third one to me is more just straight up sweet, whereas the second one has a little bit more. Like it's—it's it's not as sweet. It's a little bit more banana as opposed to plum and all that. And then you throw in like maybe more of the wood on the second one. You know what else? A lot, of fruit, I'm getting more a lot of fruit cake in here, boys. Mm. Fruit cake, like a deep wet. I get it. Cake. I get it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ah! Some of that smell like got in my eye. My eye burns. Oh my god! I can't believe. It. I know I'm being like a bitch because like I've had like 130 plus proof bourbons and you know they're they're hot, but like. I don't know. You just kind of you just kind of get used to them, and they you know the flavor overrides it, and it just kind of makes sense. But still getting dark oh. fruit, maybe yeah, maybe a hint of chocolate, dark chocolate. It's like a dark a fruit cake made mostly with dark fruits, and it's like moist. To me, I think there this last sip, I think I got more so just like on the finish, a little bit of bitter oak. <laughs> I don't think we've said it in any of these. So like, but. one thing I want to point out about three. Is that like my memory? I think three is hotter than one, but one to me was like, yeah. like it had that, you know, kind of boring. It was kind of dull bourbon flavors up front, and then it was like that went away, and it was just heat. I want to say the three, as hot as it is, mm -hmm. I get sweetness pretty much through it. Rick, you're a trooper. You're doing all right. It's all the yeah. um, it's all the it. mid palate. It's like you get a little bit of flavor, creeps in, you're like, hmm, okay, and you're like, ah! <laughs> and then you just last for like 75% of it, and then you get the after the, oh, yeah, the still... finish. But it's like most of it is consumed by the heat to me. Yeah. What, Rick? I'm just saying, like, yeah, I mean, the heat still affects me. It's just like, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is, this is hot. It's not bad, though. It's just, Jesus. <laughs> you chill out! <laughs> Go to your room. You think what you, about what you did. You come back when you're ready to talk to me, young man. Yeah, I, I like three. I don't really have too much bad to say about it. It is definitely, you got to train yourself up to that heat, though. Number two. Root. <sighs> yeah, root beer. Root, root, root. And it's, and it's a little woodier. But it's more than just like a root beer. It's, it's got that, that sweet vegetable <clears throat> thing, too. It's not as strong smelling as the last one. No. I actually almost think this one smells a little more complex than the last one. I don't know if it's more complex or if it's just I smell more distinct things. I, mean, I, I would go with that personally. Like the third one mm. smells a little more like mm. mysterious. Like it's dark and I'm like, ooh, what is that? What is that? So maybe it's actually more complex. But this one I'm like, ooh, there's like a there's like a root vegetable that's sweet. There's like... Root beer. Ooh, there's a little honey, I think. I, I'm, like, naming more things. That is still hot. Gets the side of the old tongue. I'm getting a bit of cinnamon now. Still a little bit of banana. I um, almost got, like, a little bit of peppermint there. And wood chips again. <laughs> to me, this one's woodier than the third one. Uh, but, huh. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I think I do, but... 
Oh, okay. Two against one. <laughs> Two against one. Yeah, then majority rules. Whatever. We went through it the first time. <laughs> this is more about just. I know I said of, banana, but I also want to add in banana peel a little bit on the second one. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the hidden link. Scuff off the inside of the peel. Yeah. <clears throat> Perhaps. The stringy part of the bin. Then like, yeah. <sighs> all right. Mm. Yep, that smells like bourbon. All right. Yeah. Smells like what, corn what? and caramel. Old and typical brown sugar. My stomach is upset. <laughs> I'm sure this is helping. <laughs> Take anything that's like a curveball or sundan lotion. It's like the closest <laughs> I can come to an extra note, but it's <laughs> it's not all the way there even. This one tastes younger to me, and this one has more separation between flavor and heat. And the flavor, to me, is pretty unexciting. Yeah, I'm already, I am already know my ranking. How about you, Rick? Yep, I know mine. Uh-oh. <laughs> you doing okay, Coates? <laughs> I just made my nose water. That's okay. Uh, for me, this is pretty simple. Three, two, one. Two, three, and one. Interesting. Interesting you do that, Cody, because you're wrong, because it's three, two, one. Oh! No. I like, I understand. I think it's partly because three is darker. Yeah. Which it's I mysterious. generally like the darker ones, but trying them back to back, both were a little drying, but three definitely mm -hmm. was a little drying, more drying to me. Had a, it just kind of like. I don't know. Uh, two did it as well, but three more so. I don't know. In this particular case, I liked it being just ever so slightly lighter in two than in three. But it was a close call between those two. I wanted to like one more because that's more up my alley, I guess. More like the standard flavors a little bit. But mm -hmm. it just really didn't bring that much to the table, frankly. So I just couldn't yeah. do, do anything about it. So Two and three are much closer together than one and two in my mind um but one in general is like trailing pretty far behind two and three two um i could definitely see the argument for two being over three but to me it's got that more of a cakey it's got a lot of fruits i think there's there's that i'd say they're about equal complexity but two's complexity is more distinct because it has like notes of different things like like three is all fruits but two is there's a little bit of fruit, but there's also that woody note. There's also like banana, which is the other rain, other end of the fruit range. So it's got like complexity that brings together further away areas. But um, I'm just not a despite that. Kingdom, what I'm Me just either. not into the roots. Mm. Flavor. I mean, neither, but it kind of mixed in with the other things to me. Where the dark fruit, and chocolate, and sounds like a little juice. too almost like. Like fermenty ish, like almost like yeah, it does have like that. a soy saucy kind of thing mixed with the dryness, but they're a really close one. So, guesses as the theme: pipe proof, <laughs> spicy, um, bourbons. I mean, you're pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. The theme, boys, holy hazmats. Holy hazmats. And we were right. <laughs> Indeed, so, right. And I'm just, I'm hazmat, which one was quite hill, you bitch? <laughs> is hazmat a special word for oh, 140 okay. plus? Jeez. Higher than anything, I Cody, think you right. picked Koi Hill. Wow! Yeah, how'd you get that? And then Watershed is the one that we didn't like as much. Watershed Bourbon, which is an Ohio only release called Dutch Apple. And then number one, the winner would be the third one, which is Kings County Barrel Strength. Uh, which is out of New York, which is 75.4% alcohol. Jesus. That is 150.8 proof. That's why it tastes about us. Because it probably it was. And the Koi Hill we are tasting is 141 proof. The watershed is 140.6. So it's just bare. These are ba essentially the same proof. This one, though, is another like 10 proof higher than the other two i got it right <laughs> yeah. yeah i was gonna say like you picked the one that of course you pick which did, is jack daniels and it did taste a little when you once you said banana i thought actually yeah maybe
And this one you'll notice is a 375 milliliter. Um, I think they all are. No, these are 750. How much you pay for that one? Uh, a lot, but not as much as it goes for. This one goes for like four or five hundred. Um, but I got it early because this is this this is this is batch like one or whatever. This is the this is last year's Koi Hill. They have Koi Hills now that go up to absurd yeah, heats like that are like this. this year's but was like thought to be definitely better than they had. They have one forty threes to one fifty fives now, but this one's only one forty one. This was like the first time they made Koi Hill. Yeah, and this not many reviewers have even had this one, the Kings County, um, but the ones who have have given it like four and a half out of five, five stars out of five. It's like very well liked. Um, this one's not a very big, well known one. This one's um, out of Ohio, in fact, I think. Um, but you know, that makes me think. It's probably the youngest. Makes me think of two things. One, um, it's kind of hard to tell you're drinking something <clears throat> special, you know, sometimes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> generally higher proof, but ah! <laughs> it's okay. For the amount of heat that these all brought, I feel like the ones that we have liked the best, you know, like if you think of like Discovery or E.H. Taylor or like Jack or mm -hmm. Remus or something, like I feel like those give you even more flavor than these, even though they're like 20 proof percentage lower. Yeah. And it's like, well, you know, so you're getting like the same ish flavor but just much hotter so it's like well then i gotta like yeah. them less I, yeah. at least well, I think you wanna, maybe if we, we could pour, back we, could, back, we could pour a tiny little bit of your of your barrel the barrel proof you like the most in here and you could have the koi hill right next to that yeah one somehow so this is your boy hill here on the left and then in your hand there on the right is the jet the, the barrel proof. Oh, just dude right off the smell it like smells more flavorful yeah the single barrel barrel proof yeah here you smell them. like i don't i don't even like not even like heat wise it just smells more flavorful fruity or a little more Perfumey. This one's more. It's like more woody. The the Koi Hill. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. It okay. sounds like more banana-y, but it's just like punches your f***ing mouth. This <laughs> might get a, like a couple yeah. of flavors at least. Those are really close, actually. They're just like really similar, but the, the finish on regular it. one is just kind of like it's a settled down enough where you can actually kind of yeah. discern. Well, like the finish on the barrel proof to me is better because it. It's not just heat you're fighting with. You also still get a bit of the... Yeah, like the, the Koi Hill kind of like wipes out some of the flavor. It's just... Now, if we added little. water to that one, maybe, you know, but... It's your day, Cody. You got to you got to watch the Jags win and have Koi Hill. <clears throat> Could have been the new one. <laughs> I, gotta be, I, gotta, I gotta throw in Cody asshole in everything. Yeah, I think I like the second one better. Huh? That would be uh, the uh, regular, or the regular meaning gold, the single barrel barrel proof, which is still very hot also, but yeah. mm -hmm. not quite as hot as Koi Hill. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, all right, so there you have it. Collaborative. By the way, in case you're wondering what what we were talking about when this picked up. Jags won their first playoff game that I've yeah. seen in forever. Why do you have four glasses? Hmm? No, wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just, I think in my mind, I think in my mind I just forgot that that glass that looks nothing like the other three <laughs> is a water glass. Why are you going on to four? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just going to drink it and not give us notes? And you're going to drink it like that? Jesus, you're going to die. <laughs> Quit. You and your fancy <laughs> you know what it is with the f you're talking about. You said automated. I was in a lot of spelling bees. I learned a lot of words early. Yeah. <laughs> I was there, I saw it. Yeah, you went and against, then I didn't even enter the next year. You went against, I'm in one of those Cody loops where I can't think of something so I think of something else that's related <laughs> and then to I it, and then I can't think is. of that one is, and then I go back further, because I'm a boomer. These are making guzzle the water.
Well, the good news, Adrian, about that is that there's plenty of good, delicious tap water where that came from. You can just drink to your heart's delight. <laughs> plenty of free American dream right from the tap.